To be out on the Great Lakes and watch the sunrise, to feel that water, to feel the earth moving with you, there's nothing better in the world. When we talk about needy or when we talk about water, in our language, it's alive, it has a spirit. If there were a Garden of Eden, that is what the Straits of Mackinac is to our people. When the Line 5 dual pipelines were initially built, tribes were not consulted at all. If you look at the map of Turtle Island, which is what the Anishinaabek, how they refer to North America, the heart of the turtle is here in the Great Lakes. Enbridge Line 5 is placed in the worst place on earth for a pipeline. Line 5 is a pipeline that's reaching 70 years old. This pipeline has so many risks to it, including the risk of a boat anchor potentially ripping it apart and spilling millions of gallons of oil into 20% of the world's fresh water. It's a race against either shutting down the pipeline or waiting for a catastrophic oil spill. The community I grew up in was devastated by the 2010 Enbridge oil spill, which dumped around a million gallons into the Kalamazoo River. You couldn't even see water, it was just black. My friends and family had to leave their homes. Not only were people losing their homes, but they were also losing their community. With the Kalamazoo River oil spill, it felt like there was this collective awakening. Many of our tribal citizens understood the impact that Line 5 could have. I am a third generation fisherman. Fishing has been a principal means of livelihood for us. That spill happens, it is going to affect all of those fishing grounds for us immediately. My home happens to be the closest home to Enbridge's pipeline. Our area relies on tourism, and that pipeline leaks. Our economy shot. There won't be sanitation. There won't be drinking water. There can't be people. In the next 10 years, what we do is going to decide what happens in the next 100 years. When we have infrastructure like this that we know is a risk, we have to start to think about what it means as a society to transition away from fossil fuels. Tying back to water is life, right? That we're all made of water, that we're born from water, that we rely on water and survive with water. And so if we can protect that water, what we're really doing is protecting the future.